Pixel 1 LA European Clubs qualifiers with Enigma taking on aggressive mode. Mid lane, very even, CS-wise. How's the net worth sitting? They should be pretty close to each other. Ooh, a bit, a bit of a difference there. 300 gold difference between the uh, the old Void and Ember Spirits. There's Ooh. the first blood. Of course he it is. Almost killed the Lich. Lich is going to deny himself. No mana. Coming from lane to lane, looking for action, making kills. All well, the other lads farming safely. In comes Ember, but so does Void. We, Baranya, having a bit of a battle with the remnants onto Miracle. They're trying to bring down Spectre. Stampede forward, Miracle low, Another but not slide. dead just yet. Hides in the trees. Doesn't dodge away from the final remnants, but it looks like aggressive mode might be losing two for one in this situation. Pebbles are thrown by the little mud golem shards. We has to turn tail and run. Baran is being healed up by the one charges. Has bottle charges to go as well. Gets a double kill off the slider fist. And GH, battery assault. This is beautiful. Nice little mud golem. Toss the stones again, and GH is going to get himself a, a bonus kill here. We will clear it up for a killing spree and should be able to grab double bounty runes. That's like the item to have. Skylark this time, getting picked off. Uh, arrival of Baranya trying to turn it back on to Wii and Miracle, and in fact, oh, hand of God, really nicely done. Spectre, I don't know where he's jumped, but she's jumping mid all lane. around. Mid lane, there we go, hello, hookshot from GH, saves Miracle. Skitter might be able to jump forward. Mind Control is going in for this one. Jewel, oh, look at that. Takes him out with a nice little barrage strike. I heard, a, I heard a chain frost somewhere. Yeah, okay, Spartans found Miracle. He's got a dagger, though. He'll be able to get over the cliff top. No problems whatsoever. While MC stealing out a stack. No caustic points. Oh, and a sentry down. Mind control. Do you have enough damage? Skitter so, so very low. GH doesn't have a TP scroll. They won't have clockwork, and the jump has already happened onto the sanking. Burrow towards Ember Spirit. Chain Frost will bounce. We gets clipped by it. Ether Remnant's gonna catch onto Skitter, but he's gonna blink away. He's perfectly fine. Centaur Stampede will allow them to chase forward or run away if they so desire. As they have lost themselves nice. a little bit. Trying to back to the sanking, and now the stun comes in. The lash bursting through them with a pulse nova. It's good damage, GH. With that hook shot, but AM's jumped forward. Trying to catch out GH on the way out. Ember Spirit doesn't remnant any heroes. Unfortunately, clipping the creep wave as it comes down the lane. And a 5v5 down at bottom spot. It turns out to be a one for one trade. Is it smoke time? Oh, I, I really love this. Like, one of the greatest things about this Chen is bringing people from lane to lane. And the fact you can do it with a Spectre on your team and have this Weeha Void Spirit just bounce all over the map is beautiful. Like, they've got Horn if they really want to pop it, but that Chain Frost bouncing into the Chen Creeps, mitigating all the damage it could have caused. Stampede is not going to work. The Cogs are in place. Lil is going to get forced back, and now the Horn comes in with Baranya shredded, blown up, completely destroyed, and Skylark has nowhere left to go. One by one, they crumble, and we is beyond godlike. Who have they got now? They've got a stun onto Lash. Lil is dead, and Mind Control, after he got that Blink Dagger, has been supreme. Let's see what they do with it. Tier 2 mid. Pretty difficult objective to go and take right here, right now. I, I kind of feel like I you know, want, want Nigma to come down into the bottom jungle and push the tier 2. But they're going to make a play. Okay, if they can just catch and kill, that's fair enough as well. Beautiful. Varanir just steps in front of the tier 2 tower and gets annihilated. And there it is. Burrow strike, hook shot, sets up, stun, kill. I think you need to invest the gold on AM. There's no reason to save a buyback at this point. You want to dish out as much damage as possible. Have that uh, basher. Good for staff. This MC Sand King has Blink Force Pipe. The Stampede, but the three-man burst strike. In we go. Clockwork has already expended everything he's got. Six one, maybe hook shot can come. Mind control drops, and the chain frost that bounces damage. in. Lil is about to fall, and oh, we so low in HP, but he's got one. Doesn't have ulti, and there's the mana there void. He could be a Baranya. The AM arriving, and all of a sudden, Nigma feeling a little bit bothered by this radiant side with two buybacks coming through from aggressive mode. Baranya. BKB ready. They make the There's jump. There's the And there's the Abyssal. Catching out the Void Spirit. God, the heals come out. We is dead though, already gone. Chain Frost, in we go with a good Epi Burrow. Mind Control. Looking to finish off a little, but it's not quite enough. Lil escapes until the Caustic pops him as Miracle about to fall. The Spectre, she thought she was tanky, strong, but in fact, she's weak. Nothing left. Oh, Mind Control saves the Spectre. Surely she was dead. One more dagger. Get over the trees. Turn off your ratty. Hide, hide. Oh, Jukarino breaking oh. some ankles. Oh. Another dagger. Miracle can't stand here and fight this, surely not. 
Another smoke from aggressive mode. This is Spartan yelling at his team. Let's go. Come on. Let's find them. Abyssal Blade onto MC. Absolutely nothing he can do. Oh, maybe maybe there's something GH can do, though. The drifting force staffs come out. He hook shots back to the creeps. Mind control saved by GH, but for how long and at what cost? Because Skylark makes the jump, finds the clock. Down you go. Six feet under, and MC weak Karoki. They're all trying to bail away from this one. Aggressive mode. They've got their number. They've got them. They've got them. Kuroki, this anti-mage, absolutely destroying him. Look at him go, Skitter. Well, Garrett, what did I say when this game started about AM? That he should not die this game. Full Shiva's guard on Ember Spirit. No buyback whatsoever. But I love the build. He definitely needed some kind of armor. And it also gives them vision in a fight so they can fight the targets. And that's the Void Spirit. He's about to finish his BKB, but they still have tools to initiate on him. Centaur about to finish his Blink Dagger, AM with the Blink or Abyssal Blade. They're going on Spectre, no mana. Oh dear, Miracle. A lot of Aos is there as well for Lil to chain the stuns in. Barania will come forward, wants to join the party, and he even takes the kill. Thank you very much. And the lines are drawn. Mid lane, let's go. Mind control, oh my god, mind control. Ah, uh, yeah, mind control. Speaking of him, Skitter, three seconds until Abyssal Blade. Might not even need it, you know? Just goes in with a blink and the bash. Abyssal Blade time now? Yeah, there it is. Go on then. Will Abyssal you stun you up? MC. GH can't save you this time. Nice no, done. AM running out of mana. He definitely needs uh, a mana item, something that gives him. I would I would go Scotty personally. The extra slow. They forced the buyback on mind control. And Burrow, uncharacteristically completely off the mark there. Dust comes out to spot out MC. And Skylark, pretty far forward, but it has the Stampede, the Pipe, and this melee barracks being chipped away at. Slowly but surely, disappearing of the Abyssal Blade, trying to catch in onto this wee heart. Void Spirit, the BKB's just in time. They've got a lot of physical damage to burn through this one. He jumps in the back line. Spartan gone, but they've taken down the buyback MC. That's a dieback Sand King, and GH is about to follow him as well. Baranya, Skitter, jump out with the remnants. No need to commit any further. The damage is done. Little tidbits of, of good stuff, but Skitter and Spartan top might just be able to find mind control. Oh, smoke pops, ward down, jump in with a burrow. Mind control, oh, he's helped out by a hook shot. Bye bye, Spartan. There, they get a kill. They get the Lich. But what happens? You lose your Karoki. You go one for one. You're fighting on your side of the map, and Anti Mage is in your base again. Once again, yeah. Spartan needs to be careful about his positioning. They caught. Well, they're trying AM. AM. Let's see. There's silence. And then, you've just expended so much. You've got Hookshot in five. Where's the clockwork? Can they can they get here in time? Spectre's been rooted up in place. Miracle's still giving chase. Lil for staffing away with a jump forward, Ether Remnant, and the catch from MC. Finally, they get just a little bit more. But look at this! Clockwork's been found. Blown up as the Abyssal Blade again. in on to Kuroki. Dead again as he bought back into dieback. GH, that was a dieback as well, wasn't it? Oh, this is not looking good for Nigma. Losing one after the other. As Centaur falls, Alesh did back but the am still going strong skitter knows he can pretty much 1v3 in this position jumps himself away as Burania doesn't want to fight up on that high ground but wants to fall back a little bit closer to the rest of his squad they need to back off a little bit reset skitter low on mana half hp at the moment they've got the jump onto clockwork skitter is very low but he knows he's got enough damage and the help from the rest of his squad to deal with all the heroes Nigma threw at them, the leveler. Oh, Monkey King Bar. AM, that's not a rapier. Come on, have you learned nothing from Miracle? Oh, he just jumped straight in. Kuroki. Guess the link is placed on him, but it's a little late for that. Skitter just gonna absolutely whack into him. Mind control with the stun of the centaur. Not ideal as this AM is still just running rampant, destroying your back lines. Takes out mind control. GH is about to follow him into the grave as Barania. He needs to keep tabs on this Weeha Void Spirit who is jumping around and Miracle Spectre doing a decent amount of damage. The trouble being, Nigma have already lost their two primary support. Mind Control's buyback needs to get into the fight right now. I see him just to the northwest on the edge of the screen. Jumps with a burrow onto two heroes. The AM's caught, but he's got Aegis, Manta, Abyssal Blade, and Barania just walks away. Man, Spectre was level 25. The extra 6% dispersion. It's hard to kill her. Skitter. S Skitter. Very low HP. The Aegis, but they've got the stomp. Do they have Mind Control? Essence Ray. 
Yeah, they've just killed them all off. Four heroes down. Stomp, says Skylark. And Spectre is the only hero remaining. And then deal with her or just try to dodge her. <laughs> Skidder not even hitting the Spectre. Destroy the buildings, kill Kuroki. Ignore the tanky, tanky miracle. A pistol blade back up again. Kuroki barely escaping with his life into the fountain. But the throne is falling. It's, it's, it's game over. It's, it's game over. Nigma yet again drop game in a best of two series to the massive underdog. Skylark gonna be bringing up the rear a little bit. Miracle, the position one Night Stalker. We is your OD mid. Yeah, they like you said, they force Snapfire bottom lane. Immediately GH is like, right, okay, you try lane, whatever. We've got two heroes down there that probably don't mind too much. Mind control is gonna get a few fury swipes up on him. Actually, they're going for the kill, they'll bring him down. First blood spilled by Lil. Top lane, what's happening there? Hello, Skylark. Wants to try and deny this tower. Doesn't have Guardian Angel. And he's not holding a point either. He can maybe get the wand and the GA off now. He's leveled up and he's still looking forward for this GH kill. They've glimpsed back Miracle and they're going to get... Too far. Skylark, he's so close, so close, he does get the kill. Spartan, a double, in fact, as Kuroki trades back. A two for one, well worth it here. There's a cookie. This is gonna give Spartan a really nice chance to get to level six. He's not there just yet. The cookie into Astral. Spartan's gonna get ripped apart here. Impetus and the Arcane Orbs blowing up the poor Disruptor, and Lil unable to accomplish anything further. Goes for the range creeps, trying to aggro them away. Smoke behind him, disrupt him with a granny. Cookie forward, tiny, threw out the avalanche already, but with Static Storm, there's not much else he can do. Yeah, here comes the Ags. What? Four minutes of night time to play with as well. This is prime time for Nigma. Time to draw lines on the map, time to play aggressively. Miracle immediately down towards bottom lane. Underlord has already shoved the wave, so they're going to try and loop in from behind to get the backstab. Disruptor will be the casualty of war that they pick on. Bully looking for Grandma now. Poor little Snapfire getting hounded by Miracle. There's the AoE Void. Landing onto three heroes at once. Really nicely done. And as Disruptor buys back, looking to battle on this tier 2 bot. Glimpse in the Static Storm. There we go, Spartan. Allow Skitter to get himself a beautiful little kill as the Mortimus kisses. Jumping onto Mind Control. Look at the big blames. damage. Big damage. Brania slows him with a lightning. Split Earth, where are we? Ready and raring to go. If they can get a setup stun from anyone, they've got him locked in place. They ain't gonna miss the stun, though, no. Skitter. He's gonna be fine. Chasing this one down, they've dragged him into the connect field, and Skitter will finally bring Mind Control to his knees. Can they find this Ursa? Oh, he's, yeah, he's TP'd out. Very smart. That timing. They're pinging out now that he's probably in the trees. They've even scanned him. But look at this middle lane. They know. They know aggressive mode. They know that they've all moved bottom lane. So they go on towards Wii and Mind Control. Skitter's jumping in, looking for the Underlord. No, he's looking for the OD. They astral up the Kuroki. Bash. But that means oh. Wii is dead. And so is Kuroki. There's no escape for Nigma now. 15 to 9. They might be like losing the games, but still, Nigma always have a good vision. Skylark didn't quite finish off the outpost. Can't at the last second by the void from Night Stalker. The Static Storm's decent and Mind Control's a goner. Miracle still fighting into this. One versus four. Oh, He's got GH and Kuroki helping out, but it just doesn't feel like they're doing much. Glimpse back. Miracle sent into the uh, waiting arms of that teddy bear, but Kuroki shredded by the overpower. The Fury Swipes, the AoE Void, stopping them again, delaying the inevitable, but Miracle falls. Nigma, what are you doing? They oh. overextended. Wasn't massively risky, especially when they see you know Skitter and Barania showing on the lanes top and bottom. All GH, right, Skitter, put hello. That Vanguard in your inventory. Avalanche toss combo. Spartan's still alive, and he's got Static Storm. Skitter's gonna chase down GH. Unfortunately, this Underlord Pit of Malice is really dead in the way. But the Mortimus kisses the rain of is coming down on the heads of Nigma. Can they stop? This mind control underlord from escaping with the open. They glimpse, they glimpse back Perfectly the OD time. just in bloody time. Beautiful from Spartan. Tip him up. What weather mastery is this? No glimpse, no static storm. Kill off the grandma. Then things can work out for them. The High ground to low know. ground. Down they go, aggressive mode. In towards Nigma. They've got the abyssal blade immediately onto the night stalker, but full by him a bit of time. A bit of mass down. They force the BKB from Barania, the astral. It's not timed well for the split earth to land and GH. Well, he's jumped in. He's going to fall back down again as we. His BKB. Onto the Astral we go. Oh, that Skitter Ursa still has the Aegis though, and I think that's going to be it. A one-for-one one trade back off runway. He's building up the charges. Barania. On OD. 
10 charges. Astral up. Pit of Malice again. Ursa trapped inside with Barania. They've got the Guardian Angel and the Mortimus Kisses raining down. Hellfire onto the Enigma's heads. And Mark Control just has to Uber away. But does he have enough HP to survive? No, he doesn't. Absolutely not. Throw the jump forward. Allows them to catch the OD with the Abyssal Blade. Self Astral into death is all that awaits Weeha at the end of his visit to the Nether Realms. Glimmer Cave that they have. Who have they abyssal bladed? Oh, it's GH. Another Glimmer Cave? No way is he allowed to escape. They've got the dust this time. Reveal is there. And Baranya. OB, you ready? As they clean up crew. Miracle, Mind Control, Kuroki. They're sticking around and trying to fight. We will be up to three charges on the Sandy's Eclipse. Let's see how he can stack up now. Because Mind Control, Kuro, Miracle, they want to retreat. We is he fast enough? There's yeah, the glimpse. Oh, the glimpse. They oh, got him, the, the BKB Astral. Glimmer. Oh, Mind they Control is him. out of the base. Four staff into a missile on We, They're going for the OD. They know that the BKB is down. But the Glimmer Cape yet again, causing problems. No reveal. No way to see the Invis hero. And Skitter with no. This might be in a little bit of trouble. Cookie. We'll get him to the low ground as a glimpse. Causing problems here. Baranya still with his BKB going. Stun. Misses. Doesn't catch We. But Ultimus kisses, they will land in on top of Enigma yet again. Miracle being hounded now by aggressive mode. That Pulse Nova burning through him, but they don't have the jump. No clap, no Abyssal Blade just yet. Two seconds. Skitter will have to wait before he can jump in with it. Does he use it on the Underlord? No, he goes straight onto the Enchantress. Look at him go. The tossback saves Kuro. Mind Control not going to be as lucky, though. Barania needs to TP with the scroll. Come back with Boots of Travel. He's out of mana. There's the back toss. Not the hero that you want to go for. Also, Ursa's BKB flying out of the base right now. Oh, Another bash. Lord. I sk Skitter is playing this so aggressively. He, he has no BKB on him, but he's just going absolutely wild. Kuro down to half HP. Finally, the dust is there and swiped down with great vengeance. This teddy bear takes out the end. who buys back immediately. Toss into the fountain. The Omni Knight goes. Guardian Angel on cooldown, so he heals up and he barely survives the impetus damage and the tree throw. Oh, barely killing him off. Does he buy back? Who's being glimpsed? This miracle sent back towards his fountain. Lil Baranya retreating. Low HP, low mana. Avalanche combo with the toss and GH has a double kill. Spartan, glimpse in five. Save Baranya. Give your life. Give Spartan, give your life. Yes, run into them. Do not let the Lesh die. The battle of the high ground. Who can who can hold the ramp? Who can hold the stairs without being burnt alive at the stake? There's a Yules up, and the stun missing. Baranya completely off the mark. That was nowhere near landing. Miracle in the back, hunting Spartan. We will clear it up as the impetus damage starts to rain on in onto Skylark. Does have all of his arsenal available. And Mortimus kisses. Where are we going? Forward onto Wii. They found the OD. He's got buyback ready, but Kuroki being shredded now. The two cores, Baranya, Skitter. Ah, they destroy them. Enigma uh, two heroes down. Five Lash with the edict damage for you. Here we go. I don't think this Raxus can survive anymore. That's only the illusion. I love the repositioning of the Ursa with the Cookie, Earthshock, and the Abyssal Blade. And the full staff as well. Like Lil is forcing cookieing and then allowing this abyssal blade for Skitter to get that final jump towards them. Toss onto mind control. Skitter abyssal blades GH though just in time and rages up and GH down. No buyback available. That is a dieback from Tiny. Miracle MC and We trying with a pit of malice and that Sandy's eclipse to do as much as they can. But this BKB from Ursa allows him to turn battle destroy kill the Enigma side as they have nothing left. A god like Baranya Leshrak with a triple kill chase the poor Miracle Night Stalker into Fountain, and he's gonna get another one. Skitter is beyond godlike, adds to his tally another notch in his belt, and Nigma, four heroes down, no buybacks. Mid lane open, tier fours exposed, and Kuroki, well, he's gotta know now that the GGs have to come. There it is. I mean, you know something's off when you're losing to Disruptor who has Aghanim Scepter's blessing and is building Aghanim Scepter again. 